It truly is the kind of story you could not invent. It's, it's overly theatrical, and I think it's overly prejudicial to the jury. I mean, it's over. And that is when the prosecution began. But at this time, we would offer an evidence that exhibits 56 and 57. The state says this is Jeffrey Wright's deathbed with bloodstained mattress and the ties that bound him. An assistant DA played the role of the 34-year-old victim. And if I'm sitting on top of you and I'm holding a knife, move your hands up like you're trying to get me. That's all you can move? While prosecutor Kelly Siegler portrayed the wife, an alleged murderer. Jeffrey Wright was stabbed 193 times, tortured, say prosecutors, in the most brutal ways. Did you see anything consistent with a stab to the penis? Not to the penis itself, no. Because you saw what? It was nicked. It was a superficial cut. Super. It was more of a slicing. Then there was the candle wax. It started up in this area, went down between the scrotum and the upper thigh. And the mystery of the missing knife tip. What did you find, sir? Tip of the knife. Where? Top of the skull. A, a downward motion like this. The 27-year-old mother of two claims she had been abused and her husband attacked first. The former stripper also applied for money from a victim's compensation fund two days after the killing. She had buried her husband in the backyard until the family dog unearthed him. As disturbing as today's testimony was, indications are it will be even more so in the days to come. Sherman Chow, 11 News.